York Carolina took a field trip down here to Clinton on the beautiful campus of Thornwell. They are usually in our studio, but with a beautiful day like today, we wanted to come visit the campus. And we're always talking about the critical need for foster families, especially here in South Carolina. And Kayla Lindquist is the one that always brings us all the information we need to get people up to speed about how to become a foster yeah. family. And it's, it's easier than most people think. And you guys have been doing this for a long time. Yeah, I think the most important thing to remember is that while not everyone will foster, everyone can do something. And I think that people don't realize that they are eligible to foster. As long as you're over the age of 21, you've got safe and stable housing, mm -hmm. consistent income. We are looking for families from all different family types, backgrounds, mm -hmm. experiences. We want diverse families to meet the diverse needs of children. And more than likely the people watching, they can do it too. And let's talk about the, the need in South Carolina, yeah. 1800. Yes, we know that uh, as of this year, we're looking about 1,821 new beds uh, need to be available to meet the current need for kids in foster care. So that is kids of all ages from every county across our state. We need families to step up so that every child can can have a home. Somebody watching this who's saying like, well, what is the first step in that in that process and how can Thornwell help me through this process? Because you guys are, are doing it. You can literally lead them by the hand. Yes, exactly. So Thornwell is one of many agencies across the state and the first step is just to call us. <laughs> um, so of course DSS in South Carolina has a general intake for foster care and adoption. You can start there. It's called heartfelt calling or I'm sure there's going to be a number <laughs> on the screen for you to call and I want to talk to you, answer your questions, think about what are the concerns and doubts that you have because you're going to have them. Yeah. This is a big decision. It's a big commitment and we want to make sure that you have everything you need to be successful. And I'm sure it's reassuring the folks too to know that you guys are are going to be there throughout the whole process. Right, we've got an expert team of staff right over in this building over here and they are going to hold your hand and walk with you through the journey. Every transition, every challenge, every time you need a resource or an idea, they're going to be right there with you. And so that is the benefit of working with an agency like Thornwell that has a history, a legacy of working with children and families. And we're grounded in philosophy of attachment and we believe in families. And so we've been doing this work a while we want to do it alongside you and they love it when they call you and they're talking to Kaylee who's been in this process and knows what it's like we don't expect you to know anything <laughs> about foster care for the majority of us we don't have any reason to know the ins and outs of foster <laughs> care that really is a privilege <laughs> um, but we want to help you understand not only what does it mean to be a foster parent but what are what are the challenges that you can expect what are the what does this process look like? We can walk with you with it. I have been a foster parent for six years. Others on our team have foster parenting and adoption experience. So we not only can come with you as a professional, mm -hmm. but we could come alongside you as a, a friend and someone who's done this you know, for a while as well. And your whole goal is to be able to, if you can get those those kids back with their families, you know, yes. that, that's your goal. Reunification is not only the goal of Thornwell, it is the goal of our state. Um, we believe in families. We believe that children belong in families and we wanna see healthy, happy families. We wanna see families thriving. So yes, we will walk alongside you as you champion that family whenever it's safe and appropriate. And we'll also sit with you in the heartbreak of saying goodbye to a child that you love. Um, certainly it's the goal to see families reunified, but there also is some sorrow in that for the foster sure. parent who has come to love and care for this child for maybe a couple months or maybe a couple years. And that's why they want to work with you guys because you understand that it's a full emotional scale, you know, that you go through. It's not something oh, that's yes. just only happy. You know, there's a bit of sadness there and you help them navigate that as well. I think one of the things that we're really committed to is coming at this with realistic expectations and being honest about the experience. Foster parents parenting is full of joy and full of rewards, but it's also challenging. And there are times where you will want to throw your hands <laughs> up and say, I don't know that I could do this anymore. And we want to walk with you through that. Not only our staff, but our other foster parents. We want to connect you in the community uh, because every family, not just foster families, every family needs a community of support. And you guys have such a beautiful community of support here at Thornwell. Thank you, Kaylee, for having yeah. us here on your beautiful campus. I, I just want to hang my hammock on these trees yeah. and just hang out here all day. <laughs> but thank you for giving us this valuable information for those that may be thinking about fostering, don't know where to start. The website information is on your screen. We'll be sure to put it all at our website as well, yourcarolina.tv.